Hi, this is Susanna from Hold It Right There. Welcome back to my Winslet Wallet tutorial video series. The purpose of this video series is to walk you through the pattern as you're making it. The sewing pattern is available for purchase on my website at the link below. In my last video, we created the card pockets for the interior panel. Now we're ready to install the snap and zipper. Locate flap A2 and exterior panel C. Using a washable fabric marker, transfer the markings where indicated in step 20. I am using the flap A2 pattern piece to transfer the marking by punching a hole in the pattern piece where indicated. Center a magnetic snap washer over the place you just marked. Use a washable fabric marker to trace the left and right prong placement lines from the washer. Once you've marked the magnetic snap prong insertion points on both A2 and C, use again the magnetic snap washer to trace the insertion point onto the two ultra firm stabilizer squares. With your seam ripper, carefully cut through the left and right lines that you just marked. Be sure to cut through all layers of fabric and interfacing in the flap and exterior panel piece. To prevent the incision edges from unraveling, apply a few drops of liquid fabric sealant such as Dritz Fray Check. Allow the fabric sealant to dry before going on to the next step. Beginning with exterior panel C, insert the prongs of the concave magnetic half through the incisions. Insert the prongs from the right side of the fabric to the wrong side. Push the prongs through one square of ultra firm stabilizer. Next, place the prongs through one of the washers. Using a pair of scissors as leverage, fold the prongs outward to secure. To make it easier to sew around the zipper, we will wait to install the other half of the magnet in the flap until after the zipper is installed. Locate the zipper. Fold back the top ends of the zipper at a 45 degree angle. Press or stitch in place. Follow step 27 to measure and mark the length of your zipper. Create a new zipper stop by hand basting 1 8 inch before the mark over top of the zipper teeth. Trim the zipper where marked. Locate zipper tab F. Press in half, matching short side to short side. Unfold. Now fold the raw edges to meet the center crease. Press again. The raw edges are now enclosed. Insert the bottom end of the zipper into the zipper tab. Make sure the end of the zipper is pushed all the way to the center crease of the zipper tab. Now sew 1 8 inch from the edge of the zipper tab closest to the zipper teeth. Locate flap exterior A1. Measure and mark where indicated in step 30. Right sides together, pin the zipper to the curved edge of A1 centered between the markings. Be sure the zipper is wrong side up and the zipper pull is toward the left side. You're going to sew through all layers using a 1 quarter inch seam allowance. Right sides together, place one flap lining B on top of the flap exterior. Pin or clip in place. Using a quarter inch seam allowance, sew the flap lining to the flap exterior. The zipper is now sandwiched between the flap exterior and the flap lining piece. For best results, unzip the zipper as needed to maneuver around the zipper pull.
If you wish, trim the folded overhanging piece of zipper tape even with the fabric. Turn the flat pieces right side out and press well. Do not top stitch yet. Locate flap exterior A2. Right sides together, place the zipper on the curved edge of the flap exterior. Align the side edges of the flap exterior and flap interior. Clip together and sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Right sides together, place the final remaining lining piece on top of the wrong side of the zipper. Clip the layers together along the curved edge. Sew using a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the flap layers right side out and press well. Place your flap spread out with the exterior facing up. Beginning at the zipper tape, top stitch 1 8 inch from the zipper edge, pivoting to stitch across the zipper tab. If you are using a metal zipper like I am, it is good to use the hand wheel to go over the zipper teeth carefully so as not to break your needle. Then you will top stitch along the opposite side, ending at the zipper tape. Do not top stitch beyond the markings or beyond the zipper tape and zipper tab. This will avoid puckering in your final finished project. Now that the zipper is sewn in and top stitched, we're going to install the second half of the magnetic snap. To install this raised side of the magnetic snap half, follow the instructions you used to install the first half previously. Trim the square of ultra firm stabilizer as needed so that it is not in the way of your stitching. You've now finished making the flap and you're ready to sew it to the main body of the wallet. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful. The next video in this series will walk you through the final construction of your Winslet wallet. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Join me for my final video in this series. Happy sewing!